Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. Right now we are on software playlist and then we will be going to discuss about how to do decline curve analysis using MBAL software. So it is a very interesting topic. So we are now on MBAL window. We go to tool and then we select decline curve analysis. We are now on a new window and then we go to options. We select oil as reservoir fluid. In the future videos, we will be also hopefully discuss about gas and condensate cases. And then for mode, we select by tank. You can also input your user information like company, field, location, platform, analysis, and you can also input your comments here. We press done. And then we go to input, production history. So as you can see, we can input your well name. In my case, I'm just gonna use well one. And then for decline type, we can select hyperbolic, harmonic, or exponential. We will start simple. So I'm just gonna select exponential. So the exponent will be zero. And then we need to input our production data or production history data if we have, and then we input the data here in this table. I've prepared my data, so I'm just gonna copy and paste here. Right click and press paste table. All right, so far so good. And then you can see production start here. So we need to copy this date and then paste here. In my case, I can also define the abandonment rate or economic rate. I'm just gonna use 10 stock tank barrel per day. And after that, we go to match. So this is my production data. Horizontal axis is production time. Oil production rate is on the vertical axis. Okay, you can also see other parameter like if you change the scale to semi-log scale, y-axis or vertical axis, we select log and it will be changed to logarithmic of rate divided by initial rate, okay? But we just need to go back to linear scale, okay? And then we select exponential in decline type. And the main thing is when we do the regression. Okay, completed, the regression completed. Now MBAL software gives us the initial decline rate. Here you can see 28% per year. That's my decline rate for my case or for my well. You can also see initial rate calculated by MBAL. It is around 850 stock tank barrel per day. You can use it or you can use your own data for production forecasting, all right? So it has been completed in this section. And then we just need to finish. And decline rates, MBAL will input the information here. This is the production start time. This is the initial decline rate, 28% per year. And this is the calculated initial rate. Let's say we want to use this data and then we press done. And then we go to production prediction. Here we will do production forecasting. First production setup, prediction start 2003, okay. Production end 2031, abandonment rate, we use 10 stock tank barrel per day. So the forecast will be done until 2031, okay. And then we press done. For the schedule, for the reporting schedule, you can select automatic or you can also input your list if you have certain date or certain schedule that you want to know the production rate. Or you can also use like this one, user divine. Like if you want to know the production forecast per month, like in my case, I want to know about the production forecast in the future per month. So I'm just gonna input one month and MBAL will calculate for me the production forecast for each month in the future. Okay, we press done. And this is the climax of our job doing the decline curve analysis using MBAL. We go to run prediction. 
All right. And then we just need to press calculation. It has been completed, right? Very fast. So as you can see, we start from production start here, 2003, June 2003, using this initial rate, right? 849 as what we obtained previously, calculated by MBAL. And of course, we will end up in this one, right below my abandonment rate, because I have divine my abandoned rate to be 10 stock tank barrel per day. And then we can see the plot. Okay, this is production results plot. First, we want to plot our history data. So we press history here, and we want to see first oil rate. Okay, this is our production history data for oil rate. Okay, the black line with the data points. And what about the prediction calculated by MBAL? We press prediction and then we press again oil rate. All right. So now we have two plots. The black curve is our history data, whereas the red lines or red data points is simulation results coming from MBAL. All right. So MBAL use our decline rate, which has been obtained from the regression. And then, yeah, practically we have completed the analysis. But you can also do something that I'm going to do. Okay, let's say we want to do another approach to do the forecasting. We need to go back to input, production history, all right, let's say we want to do the forecasting starting from the end of our production history. So rather than using this one, 2003, which is our original production start period, and rather than using this initial rate, which is calculated by the MBAL, let's say we want to start the forecast using our latest condition from production data, okay? so. We go to the end of our production history. It is on December of 2007. Let's say we want to start from January of 2008. Okay, so we just need to copy it and then paste here and change it to 2008. And it will change automatically here. And for initial rate, we want to use this one, which is the last oil rate from our history. Copy and then paste here. But we maintain the decline rate calculated from the regression, right? This is the correct way to do the forecasting rather than the previous analysis that we have done. So we start from production history and then continue the analysis using the forecast, all right? So let's see, press done, go to production prediction and then run prediction. Calculate, complete it, and then we go to plot. All right, so this is the correct way to do the forecasting. We have prepared our production history here and then we end up here, but we continue with production forecasting using decline curve analysis starting from here. All right, so we use the last production rate using the calculated decline rate, but starting right after the production history end. Okay, so if you're not comfortable with this one, you can actually change your initial rate, go to input. Let's say we want to use this value rather than 193 or let's say we want to use this value. Okay, copy, then paste. Okay, let's see, run prediction, calculate, plot, all right? So let's say it is more make sense, all right? Or maybe we can select or we can use this one, 245, right? Let's say we want to copy this one and then 
paste here. Run prediction, calculate, plot. All right. So I think it's quite good, right? We start from production history and then we use this value as our initial rate for our decline curve analysis forecasting. And then we use the decline rate calculated by the regression. And then we have our forecast here. All right. So as you can see, the decline curve analysis using MBAL software, it's quite easy. You can do and you can follow this video. And hopefully in the future videos, we will discuss other methods, other tools, other analysis using MBAL software. Okay. See you soon. And thank you so much for watching.